As we kick off the first part of June, I thought it was a good idea to run through some of my favorite sign-up bonus offers that are out there right now. If you're ready to take the journey with me, let's go. Hey everybody, Brandon Boyd with The Brandon Boyd Show. Thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget to be awesome. Give me a big thumbs up on the video if you find it entertaining or helpful. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notifications for alerts. I really appreciate all of your support so far. And it's time to check in on some of the best credit card sign-up offers that are available in the month of June. As we are in the beginning of the month, I thought it may be a good idea to go through these to give you a better idea of what's out there in the marketplace and maybe help you make a good decision on which credit card to sign up for next. To be honest with you, I will probably do this on an ongoing basis every month just to keep you up to date on the offers that are out there because they do change so frequently. Also, you'll find more details and referral links for the cards that I mentioned in this video in the description below. So if you want even more detailed information, please feel free to go down there because in this video, I want to focus strictly on the sign-up offers and not all the details of every one of these cards because I think that would be an insanely long video, number one. But I really want to make this short and sweet and help you make a better decision. Hell yes. So with all that being said, I think we just get going and jump right into it. Let's go. So let's start out the list at number five, and we're going to go to American Express and talk about the Hilton Honors Business Card. Currently, if you go on the website, you'll see a public offer of 130,000 Hilton Honors points with a $3,000 spend in the first three months. Pretty straightforward. However, if you go down to the description in this video, you'll find our referral link. In that referral link, you will find a sign-up offer for 180,000 Hilton Honors points, but there is a little bit of a difference in the spin. First, you'll get 130,000 Hilton Honors points with a $2,000 spin in three months, so that's a little different than the public offer. You'll get the additional 50,000 Hilton Honors points by spending $10,000 total within six months. That is quite a difference in the offer, much more points available there, and we value Hilton Honors points at about 0.5 cents per point, so those 180,000 Hilton Honors points are valued at about $900, which is pretty awesome. That's a good value for a $95 annual fee. Make sure you check the referral link down in the description, though, to get that elevated offer. Sticking with American Express, at number four, we're going to talk about the Hilton Surpass card. The Hilton Surpass card has a $95 annual fee, just like the previous card, and they are offering a 180,000 Hilton Honors point sign-up offer. 130,000 of those points will come after you spend $2,000 in three months, and the additional 50,000 points will come after you spend $8,000 additional dollars within six months. 180,000 points is nothing to ignore by any means, but there are reports out there that some people are getting targeted at offers of 200,000 Hilton Honors points for the Hilton Surpass sign-up, and that includes me. I was kind of curious about this. I was reading through message boards and other sites saying that people were getting 200,000 point offers. So I used uh, incognito mode and private browsing and was able to bring up this offer. So if you're trying to find the 200,000 point offer, if you're not seeing it when you pull that up, try using incognito mode or private browsing uh, to see if that offer comes up because it did work in my case. Thanks for the tip. And if you do get the 200,000 Hilton Honors points, again, we value those at 0.5 cents per point, meaning that this sign-up offer could be worth $1,000. So a $95 annual fee for a $1,000 value, I'll take that every day of the week. All right, we've made it into the top three. We're playing with the big dogs now. It's time to talk about card number three, and that is the American Express Business Gold Card. The Business Gold Card carries an annual fee of $295, which is quite a bit more than the cards we just talked about. Currently, if you go on the American Express website, you'll see a public offer of 70,000 membership rewards with a $6,000 spend in three months. However, our referral link bumps that offer up to 85,000 membership rewards with a $10,000 spend in three months. And you may look at that and say, Brandon, that's too much money. I'm not going to spend $10,000 in three months. But if you do have a business that you're operating, a $10,000 spend isn't something that's totally out of the question. And if you can't meet that minimum spend, then it's probably not the right card for you because you want to make sure that you can meet the min spend to get these sign-up offers. However, if you can swing it, I would totally go for it. 85,000 membership rewards is a lot. And if we value those at two cents per point, and to be honest, that does vary quite a bit depending on how you're using your membership rewards, but let's keep it simple. If you're valuing that at two cents per point, this sign-up offer of 85,000 membership rewards comes in at a $1,700 value. So it is a larger annual fee, $295, but you're getting a much higher return on the sign-up offer. So that's something to keep in mind. And also when you're clicking on the referral link down below, make sure you are enabling private browsing or incognito mode because sometimes the referral links are a little quirky and they come up in incognito mode, but they don't come up in regular viewing 
For whatever reason, I don't make the rules, but just make sure you do that. It should streamline the process a little bit. We are moving right along and in our number two spot. Number two. In our top five sign-up offers for June, we're gonna stay with American Express again, and this time we're gonna look at the American Express Business Platinum Card. Now this card has a much higher annual fee of $595. That's loud. That's a lot of money. So some people may be turned off instantaneously, and I totally understand. However, if you're willing to look past the annual fee, there's quite a bit of value here. Currently, the public offer stands at 100,000 membership rewards points for a $15,000 spend in three months, which is a lot, but again, if you can swing it, go for it. There are websites out there like thepointsguy.com that offer referral links for this card as well at 125,000 membership rewards. However, our referral link down in the description below offers even more. The referral link is offering 130,000 membership rewards for that same $15,000 spend in three months. So use our referral link if you do wanna sign up for the card. Again, it is a lot of money, it's a large annual fee, but if you can swing it, you'll get a ton of value out of this. How much exactly? Well, we value membership rewards at two cents per point, 130,000 membership rewards. That's $2,600 in value that you can get for the $595 annual fee. So again, a lot of money up front for that annual fee, but you're getting a ton of value back out of it if you can meet the men's spin. And finally, drum roll please. We're going to a card that's not American Express, and it's a card that everyone is buzzing about right now. This one comes from Chase. It's the Chase Sapphire Preferred card. The Chase Sapphire Preferred carries a $95 annual fee, and if you go to their website, you will see they have an historic offer on their page right now for this card. They're offering 100,000 Chase Ultimate Rewards for $4,000 spin in three months. They just came off a record high offer and boosted it even more to this 100,000 Chase Ultimate Rewards. It's an unbelievable offer, and if we're looking at total value here, if you go through the Chase portal, you'll get 1.25 cents per point, so that's about $1,250 in value. If you choose to redeem your points through the Chase Pay Yourself Back program, you'll get 1.25 cents per point through that as well. And essentially, if you're not familiar with that, it's a way to redeem your points for certain categories of spin with different cards that Chase has. For the Chase Sapphire Preferred, you can get the 1.25 cents per point redeem for dining, for groceries, for home improvement stores, and a couple of other categories. That'll be down in the description below. However, to max out the value of your ultimate rewards, I recommend using Chase Transfer Partners because that brings a value of two cents per point for your ultimate rewards, meaning that the 100,000 ultimate rewards offer comes out to be a $2,000 value for only a $95 annual fee, which is awesome. Think about this, the Chase Sapphire Preferred offers a lower annual fee, a lower minimum spend than some of the cards that we've talked about here, the opportunity to turn some of your business cards into Chase Ultimate Rewards earning cards, which is great, and they have an historic offer going on right now, that's a pretty good combination, and that's why it comes in at number one on my list of the top cards for June. It is an awesome sign-up offer. Even if you don't like Chase, if you're an American Express or a City Loyalist, whatever the case may be, if you've ever wanted to dip your toes in the Chase Ultimate Rewards water, now is the time to do it because this offer is unbelievable. We don't know exactly when it's going to end yet, but I'm sure more details about that will come soon. So keep an eye out on the channel. We'll try to keep you up to date on that. But again, a great offer. Take advantage of it. If you're new to the points and miles game and new to this channel, this is one of the cards that we recommend starting out with first. So if you're new to this whole game, this is a great way to get started. So after seeing all this information, are you planning on getting any of these cards? Or are there offers out there that you think I should have put in my top five list? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm always interested to hear what you have to say. There are a ton of sign-up offers out there. And it's a really exciting time in the points and miles game because these credit card companies are getting very aggressive and there's a lot of competition going on right now, which is a good thing for you and me. Like I said earlier in the video, I plan on putting out these top five offers videos every single month towards the beginning of the month to help inform you and educate you and give you a better idea of what's out there on the market. And we've got a lot more really cool stuff coming up on the channel I'm so excited to share with you. But if you enjoyed this particular video and found it helpful and entertaining, don't forget to be awesome. Give me a big thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notifications for alerts, and when you click on the Brandon Boyd Show, it's gonna be time to check in on the latest in credit cards, money, points, and miles, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. I'll see you soon.